Hey guys, Will here with Fresh Coast Gaming. Um, I just picked up this new heavy vector from uh, from Adepticon, and I was pretty excited to magnetize it. I have to say, it's actually um, it was really easy. I almost feel funny making this video, but I want to show you. So, um, for the body, uh, I glued all the parts and the shoulders, and then um, there was a small the technical term is nub on the, the bottom of the shoulder there and um, I drilled that out and um, and I put the magnet in there. It's sitting pretty flush. Um, I know it's always dangerous. I never want to make the hole too deep and have to push it in and uh, not have it have total contact. But So those are in there. It's actually not too bad. You know, if you're viewing it from the top, you can't really see that joint. So. Um, and then on the other things, um, on all the other arms, there's actually a hole already there. And, uh, let's stop focusing here. Honestly, it was, um, very easy. I almost didn't drill some of them. I just drilled it to clean it out a little bit. Um, I could have done it more to get that flush, but again, I was worried about putting it in there too far. Um, you know, same with all these arms, they have that same size hole. And I really like this kit because the arms um, for here and for this piece and um, these um, electrical guns, they all have, uh, they have no shared parts. So that was really awesome. Um, so you can get them all magnetized there. The one thing that I am wondering what to do is uh, the back hole here for the base. I really don't trust that base to hold this guy. Um, I'm trying to figure out some way to pin it or something, but that's going to be hard. Uh, that's that's my challenge. Also, this back piece, uh, there's a piece that fits over the back. Um, here it is. That uh, fits over the back for those um, electrical guns. I think it's the modulator. That is, uh, I'm going to have to figure out a way to make that be removable and also stay on there. Um, the <clears throat> excuse me, the heads are another thing. Uh, there's three heads. I'm not too picky about, I mean, I would be okay with one head sitting on there, but it does kind of fit into this slot. Um, so I think if you, you know, made a hole for a magnet there and just put any sort of small magnet in the back of here, you could probably have interchangeable heads. But um, that's it. I'm really excited to get this guy painted up and uh, hopefully standing up on a base. And um, we have a normal war machine on uh, day on Friday. So I got a couple days and I'm going to try to get this going. All right. Thank you. Okay. I had to get a shot of this too. Um, we had uh, some sort of debate about this and some uh, just chatting um, around the dinner table. So this uh, Jack, like the battle box, is... Um, a certain type of plastic and uh, oh, focus um, and we've been feeling that I mean you know coming from 40k models and stuff this is a little less detail and it's a little rough around the edges um, this corollary is uh, it's here we go um, this detail is like crazy and also it's probably hard to tell in this light um, but it's a little lighter uh, gray than the other plastic and especially these like the top these uh, uh, Coils and turbines at the top are incredibly sharp So I'm not sure what they did with this, but I would love to see them do that more um, It's really really nice looking very crisp detail